been out there for me. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I remember syrup sandwiches and crime allowances. But that's a nigga with some counterfeits. But now I'm counting this. Ever get that feeling of deja vu? So, with Overwatch recently going on sale again, it's fair to say there's going to be an influx of new people into the game of varying skill levels. Now, I'm by no means a pro Tracer player or even a pro Overwatch player, but I thought I'd be at least fit in to share my experiences and learning the unique play style of this hero. So, Tracer's backstory is that she was a test pilot for Overwatch and one day she was testing a next generation teleporting fighter where the teleporting science thingy malfunctioned and she disappeared. Months later she reappeared and would disappear for hours and days at a time. She was basically a living ghost, unable to grind herself in her world's reality. Eventually, everyone's favourite ape scientist, Winston, designed the Chrono Accelerator that you can see strapped to her chest in game. It keeps her grounded in reality and, more importantly, allows her to do some really cool stuff in game. Tracing back to when I first tried Tracer, I thought the feel and speed of the character was super cool. I've played a lot of FPS games down the years and I hadn't really played anything online that felt quite like this. It's world class character design from Blizzard in my opinion and having practically zero balance changes since the game's launch is definitely a testament to that. However, Tracer is also very punishing to play. Learning how to accurately and efficiently blink takes a lot of practice and I find myself regularly falling off cliffs, dying in team fights because I ran out of blinks, and generally just doing embarrassing stuff that resulted in death. Lots and lots of death. So Tracer is quite niche in what she does in respects to the whole DPS class if you like. She's not like a character like Soldier 76 for example who will churn out steady DPS, you can rely on him to get down shields etc etc. Uh, Tracer's niche is more diving an isolated target, putting out high burst damage into their face and then getting out again very quickly. So her two main abilities are Blink and Recall. She has the lowest health of any hero in the game, excluding Baby Diva, and the skill cap is quite high because of two things, A, she's super squishy, and B, her guns require to be close range to secure kills. She's a flanker, an assassin type hero that excels at hitting the back line and securing kills on the team's healers or an out of position DPS for example. So you can use Blink aggressively to dash forward, close grind and delete a squishy very quickly. Defensively it can be used to escape and also dodge incoming death. With prolonged playtime you'll find yourself anticipating damage. Baiting a Roadhog hook or a McCree flashbang can turn fights in your favour as well as watching Handel's animations and blinking away from his arrows before they land. Without any blinks at your disposal, Tracer is very vulnerable and you'll become very aware of this for example if you've ever been EMP'd or hacked by Sombra. Um, you're basically a target, a very squishy target with no ability to get in or out of danger. The moral of this story ladies and gentlemen is always make sure you have blinks at least one at your disposal at any given time and again with extended playtime you'll start to get into a sort of rhythm with your blink cooldowns and you'll know when to blink. Pulse Bomb is Tracer's ultimate, uh, stick this to anything with less than 400 health and they will be deleted. We've all seen the montage videos on YouTube where Tracer bombs and destroys the whole team. Those are great, but my advice is this, if you have 
just the chance to kill one healer with your pulse bomb, do it. This is a fight your team will win purely because you took out their support. A good tracer can be very annoying to play against and regularly deleting their backline will cause disarray in the other team. With such a simple ability, it is so fun to implement and every now and then the enemy team will be stacked just right for you to come in and end the day. Outside of that there's always a Zarya Graviton Surge which synergies beautifully with this ultimate. So that's basically it for my thoughts on Tracer, um, besides all of that I wish you all the luck with playing Tracer and all of your future Overwatch endeavours. My passing advice is to always try and have an exit and learn the locations of health packs in maps. A good Tracer knows how to get in, get out and know how to keep themselves alive. Also practice your aim to consistently be hitting headshots from the right distance. Um, this, this can really only come with practice but um, I recommend playing uh, arcade modes like Team Deathmatch where you can consistently practice with out the pressure of for example a competitive environment. I hope this little overview was at least helpful. For my part I just wanted to transfer some of my passion for this game uh, into this video and try to provide a bit of a starting point for anyone thinking of giving Tracer a go. So happy hunting. Keep calm and Tracer on. <laughs>